Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a grammar school. The most common mistake of nail filing is layering in the ingross points. How to fix it the right way? You will learn today. Let's get into it. Here are today's nails. And they look beautiful. But if we take a closer look at them, we will see quite a thick layer of the coating. Let's measure the thickness with a micrometer. And as you can see, the tip is 2.5 to 3 mm thick, when its thickness is supposed to be around 1 mm. My model is a beginner nail tech, so she did the coating herself. And if we turn the nails sideways, we will see layering in the ingross points. It was caused by the fact that filing her own nails was not convenient to her, since nail folds need to be pulled well. Such layerings result in cracks later. Here this thick layer prevented them. But normally we need to fix such layerings with a hard material. That's our plan for today. If we take a look from the side view, we will see that the nails are a bit curved. So we will need to fix this as well. Well, it's going to be exciting. First, I remove the old coverage using a green carpet drill bit, since the layer is super thick. I set up the maximal speed. Removing only the color is another common mistake. There is a thick base coat layer left underneath, and when we apply a new one, the nails will get thicker and thicker each time. So remove up to 80 to 90 percent of the base coat. We can leave a thin layer in case there are no liftings. The index nail is curved a bit more than the rest, so I don't remove the material from the free edge here. To smooth out the surface, place the trail bit perpendicularly to the cuticle and move from right to left. The coating looks like a tree during the removal. With all the colors and base coats, so there is no need to keep them. Make sure to check it from the tip to see how much thickness is left. I don't shape the free edge at this point. I will do it after strengthening. So I push the cuticle with an orange stick and let's do a quick e-file manicure. It is the best option here since the cuticle is thin and dry. I won't dwell on it for too long since it's not the point of this video. I'm using a red flame drill bit, a tornado one, and then I will cut off the cuticle with a rounded cylinder. Done with the manicure, now I decrease the nail plate, remove all the dust and apply adhesive products, a dehydrator and a primer. I apply the primer only on the outgrown part of the nail plate. Before strengthening, I apply a thin layer of a clear base coat. I will build up the free edge with some milky acrygel. You might have seen this squeezing tool in one of my previous videos. It is super convenient. I just squeeze out some acrygel, a drop less than a pea size, and put it on the free edge. This way I will lift it up and build up missing corners. I will use some aligning liquid to spread it. You can spread it either with an orange stick or a brush. I'm using a natural brush. Just squeeze the drop like this, smooth out the transition up to the center of the natural nail and form a missing lower parallel. Use a thick or medium consistency to prevent its pulling under the natural nail. Place the brush at the right angle it should be parallel to the nail plate. 
Form the free edge with tapping moves. It's okay if it gets a bit longer. We will file it out from the inside later, so the nail will be even. We'd better do one nail at a time to prevent the acrogel from flowing. This procedure costs like strengthening, so it's a bit more expensive than a regular gel coating. Now I send it to cure for 30 seconds. There is a range of pluses here. A lower chance of liftings and cracks on the free edge. Gel polish will last longer. A shape and a C-curve will look nice and clear. Clients will definitely appreciate your efforts and the results, so they will come back to you for sure. Not to an average nail tech who can do a gel coating only, but to the tech who knows how to build up the nail architecture using hard materials. There is no doubt that for building up lower parallels, Acrogel is the best material. It doesn't flow like gel, so there is no underlay needed. Now I wipe off the tacky layer and proceed with filing. At this point, we try not to ruin the shape we have built up and form a sharp square. Make sure that the free edge is perpendicular to the central axis and make long moves. Then file the sidewalls going straight from the ingross points. And most importantly, the lower parallels. Turn the fingers sideways to see them better. Place the file under the material and file a straight line lifting up the curved tip. Same on the other side. Turn the finger. I file the sidewalls a bit more to make the nail narrower. Here's a straight line parallel to the lower parallel. I'm sorry for the tautology, but it is a square shape. Let's check out the tip. At the moment, it's pretty thick, around 2 mm. But don't worry, we will file it out from the inside and make it thinner. Filing the thumb, I noticed that there are gaps on the sides. Nail folds pushed out the gel, so I just add some more here. Patching up the gaps. So it may happen, don't worry. Just pull the fold well to avoid it. And cure the nail with a portable lamp in between to let the material get cured. Same on the other side. Now I sand the nail for the final polymerization and continue filing. I recommend you use a thin file for the lower parallels to get under the ingross points. It is more convenient than a foamed nail file. It's time to file out the extra thickness. I turn the hand over and, using the previous green carbide drill bit, I file it out in the forward position. Now turn the finger back and move from left to right. The angle is 45 degrees to make the tip thinner. We just need to file out the edge part. If the nails are badly curved or peeling, then we can cover them up with the base or top coat on the inside. Done with the dirty work. Now let's align the nails. Just a thin layer will do here, since there is already the acrogel on the free edge. I will just build up the apex. Turn the hand over to let it align and form the architecture. Moving on to the design. I put this pink, purple, turquoise and blue colors on the palette 
and using an ear puffer, I put the colors onto the needle and blend them out. Any matching colors will do here. Just apply them one by one and blend them out. This design will serve as a background for the stickers. Just choose the patterns to your liking. Now I cover up the nails with a matte top coat. To keep the nails beautiful and wearable, avoid filing mistakes. Make sure to check out my other videos on nail filing techniques. I wish you all success in your work. Good luck! Bye-bye!